Yeah, so this is an issue in, in uh, central thrombocythemia is that this is a disease where everything we know about and everything that we focus on it relates to this uh, the increased risk of blood clots thrombosis um, in those diseases and there really has been uh, limited data in terms of long-term outcomes and you know many of these patients are younger who are expected to live decades uh, many decades for for some with this disease and yet uh, we focus on the, the thrombotic complications and ignore the progression a uh, part of that. And so what we found, and this is a, a, a partner with a couple other papers that showed very similar things, is that the driver mutation in ET dictates the risks. So patients with the JAK2 mutation have a much higher risk for thrombotic complications. Patients with a CalR mutation or a MIPL mutation have much lower thrombotic rates, but much higher progression rates. So we almost never see blood clots in CalR mutated ET, but over the long term, 20% of them progress to myelofibrosis, which is a very more morbid disease. And so we have to, we need systems that include those risks and consider not just thrombosis risk, but the total composite risk a patient will experience with, throughout their lifetime with that disease.